Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Vero Impulse Thin. So the Impulse Thin from Vero Engineering has been one of my favorite new knives in my EDC rotation. It's a knife that's on the bigger side with a solid titanium frame lock that's built really well and is great for everyday use. I've been carrying the knife for a few months now, and I've been really loving it, and it's been a really easy choice when choosing a knife to carry. I'll flash up the specs of the Impulse Thin on screen right now, and of course, we'll do a little side comparison up against some of my favorite EDC knives. As you can see, the Impulse Thin is definitely on the bigger size when it comes to everyday carry size knives. When you compare it to the Elementum as well as all three Benchmades on the table, it's a lot bigger than them. And when you compare it up against another titanium frame lock, the Large Sebenza 31, it's basically on par with it. It's also on par with the thickness of the Large Sebenza. So the Impulse Thin comes in a wide variety of variants. I got the Stone wash blade and stone wash handle variant basically just raw titanium and a bare stone wash blade the blade itself is in a drop point shape and features bowler m390 steel m390 is a super steel that excels in edge retention and corrosion resistance and has a decent amount of toughness it's definitely great for edc especially with its high marks in edge retention as you can see in addition to the flipper tab the blade features both a front and rear fuller allowing for a wide variety of opening the fullers allow you to reverse flick the knife open as well as even slow roll the knife with the forward fuller. And of course, you can't forget about that flipper tab. The action is rock solid. The lockup is also solid. It runs on ball bearings, allowing for a very smooth action. The spine of the blade features the Vero spell up, as well as some nice jimping, which is great when you want to choke up on the blade. You do have a sharpening choil on the bottom, and you also get the serial number at the bottom of the blade too. Probably one of the most iconic features of a majority of Vero's knives is the flush flipper tab. As you can see, when you compare it to like the Civivi Elementum, the flipper tab is out of the way and is essentially flush with the body of the knife. So it's not in your way if you're digging into your pocket to grab something else and isn't poking your hand or the flipper tab doesn't get caught on like say your keys. And it also provides for a very nice and clean design. And another cool thing about the flush flipper tab is that it's also flush when it's open. As you can see, the flipper tab is also absent when the blade is open, unlike, say, the Civivi Elementum, and it allows you to choke up without the flipper tab getting in the way. You get a nice rock solid lockup. As I said, it is a titanium frame lock and accessing the lock bar is nice and simple, especially with this nice little cutout groove and is great when you use your thumb. You can simply push your thumb in and then close the knife like that one handedly. The handles are made out of titanium. The front scale features a very simple and clean design and only has three screws present. Moving towards the back of the knife, you get a very nice and clean milled titanium pocket clip with the Vero logo in the middle. It's definitely not a deep carry pocket clip, but it fits well on the pocket nicely and it doesn't overly stick out of the pocket when it's clipped. The knife also features a nice solid titanium backspacer that matches the finish of the handles. I love that the the Impulse Thin features a versatile blade shape that's great for a variety of uses. The handles also feel very solid in hand and provides an excellent lockup. I feel like the Impulse Thin is a great user knife and is excellent for everyday carry. The stonewash handles and blade hide the wear so it doesn't look too overly worn after some use and carry. If you're looking for a quality titanium frame lock that's on the bigger side and are looking for a nice user knife for EDC, the Vero Impulse Thin is definitely a great option. If you're looking to get your hands on an Impulse Thin as well as check out different variants, I've left an affiliate link to Huckberry down in the description. So what do you guys think of the Vero Impulse Thin? i definitely like to know down in the comments. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. If you really love the review, please consider leaving a super thanks in the tip jar below. And thanks for watching.